Hey everybody, I promised you that I would give you a little bit of a recording uh, for all of the paleontologists that are here. So we're going to go around the room here and I'm going to introduce you, well they're going to introduce themselves and some really cool research that they all do. Are you all ready? Yay! Yay. <laughs> all right. Okay, hello, I am Vanessa Weimer. I study pachycephalosaurs, specifically bone resorption. And I don't really know how it's important pertaining to human things, but it has taught me the importance of how osteoporosis can F your body up. So that's pretty cool. Perfect. Thank you, Vanessa. <laughs> Hi, I'm Philipp Knaus. I'm from Germany. That's why my voice sounds like that. And um, I study, I'm trying to figure out how um, basically it came that when we get up in the morning, we have to have our coffee and then we can go out, but we don't have to lie in the sun for an hour like a crocodile because they're ectotherms. They have to heat up in the morning. We don't, and so I'm trying to figure that out by looking at long bones. So I'm looking at, well, basically trying to figure out what the, how much blood went through the bones. That's what I do. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm Antoine Bercovici and I'm from Paris, France, but currently I am at the Smithsonian. And unlike all those guys, I don't work on big fossils, I don't work on bone, I actually work on tiny fossils. Pretty much the tiniest fossil you can find, which is pollen and spores from plants. And that's important because it shows the type of plant that grew uh, during the time of the dinosaurs, or all their time as well. And that's useful for dating sediments and for constricting past landscapes. Uh, and the parallel to what we, what's happening today is that we're looking, we can look at uh, the collapse of uh, terrestrial ecosystem plants and that was supporting uh, animals and look at that today because we're doing some damage to the environment and it's good to compare that with the past and learn what happened in the past to understand what's going to happen today. Great, thank you. That's really important. Yeah, sorry, Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Kuhn Stein, and it's spelled K O E N, and uh, otherwise. Uh, I'm from Brussels, Belgium, and I work on uh, late Cretaceous hadrosaur communities from far eastern <laughs> Russia. And I'm studying uh, differentials between extinction uh, of hadrosaurs in North America and in Asia, and trying to find out. Were there any differences between different continents? Was there a gradual extinction? Was there, you know, was the extinction completely abrupt? Um, what does was that it, mean? What do you mean? What does that mean? Abrupt? Yeah. That well, everything died? At, okay. You know, in, there a, you go. in a very short time. <laughs> <laughs> or was it going on for a couple of million years? And was it going very gradual, very slowly? Was there, because of environmental changes, like we are causing today? That's okay. my that's research sexy, that's in the nutshell. That's sexy research. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, hello, I'm Kristen Shelton. I'm currently based out of South Africa, and my uh, main focus is on bone histology of basal synapsids, which is your ancestors that came about 60 million years before dinosaurs. And I'm yeah. trying to figure out, uh, <laughs> trying to figure out why we are warm-blooded and why our, or how our physiology came about, such as those of the mammals. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. And last but not least. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Becky Benzoni. Um, I'm from New Orleans, Gentilly to be more specific. <laughs> and, um, and I study Antarctic marine geology. And like Antoine, I work with microfossils. Um, and so what I do is I look at sediment cores that have layers um, that were deposited on the seafloor um, and I look at these different layers and it's like going back in time and looking at changes in the ice sheet through time and so what I do is I compare the last 12,000 years with the present day and specifically I work in the Antarctic Peninsula which is the third most rapidly warming region on the globe um, and my research is focused on answering whether the ice retreat in that area which 90% of the glaciers there are retreating right now, whether that's normal or not. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you all very much. Yeah.